Keanu stars the comedy duo of Key and Peele, and I'm only going to say Key and Peele because if I say their full names, then it will go on and on and on for too long, and it might get overbloated, so I'm just not going to say it, so... Sorry, people. So in this film, the cat Keanu gets kidnapped by a bunch of gangsters. And because of their love for this cat, Key and Peele decide to pretend to be gangsters to get the gangsters to like them just to save this cat. The end. And that's our movie. Now, I love the trailers for this movie. I was very much looking forward to this film. Key and Peele are two of the funniest people on the planet working today in Hollywood. I think that they are this generation's Abbott and Costello. And I haven't seen their sketch comedy show in its entirety i've seen a few episodes i think that it's like perfect comedy it's it's gold it's genius it's it's like it's emmy worthy stuff i gotta tell you that i really had a great time with keanu for the first two acts at least not saying anything about the third act but just saying that the first two acts are better than this but the thing that made this movie like the way it was was because of the incredible chemistry between these two guys. You could tell that they're best friends. You could tell that they enjoy working together. Their characters in this movie are such goofballs that it works so well. All the performances are fantastic. Like I said, Keen Peel were already good. Jason Mitchell from Straight Out Compton, he played Easy E in the movie. Uh he played one of the gangsters in this movie and he was very funny. Method Man played the main gangster, Cheddar, which is already a cheesy name. Ah ha ha ha. He did a very good job, too. The chick gangster, very, very pretty, actually. She did good, too. All the other ones did good. The writing was fantastic. There's a lot of good dialogue in this film involving the comedy. I think Peel wrote it was one of the guys who wrote a lot of the sketches for King Peel that wasn't key. So, I mean, that's understandable. The comedy was very good. There's this gag involving a certain singer that I thought was perfectly portrayed. I didn't think it was overblown or anything. I thought it worked very well. And then the jokes about the racial stuff, it worked very well. And sometimes racy jokes don't work for me, but in this case, it worked for me pretty much in every single scene, just because of the way it was executed and the way it paid off. So that's a credit to everyone involved in this movie. The movie flies by. It's like 95 minutes long. I didn't feel it dragging. This was the perfect run time for a movie like this. Keanu is the cutest damn kitten I think I've ever seen on screen. I'm being completely honest. I can't really think of the last time I saw a cat this cute on screen. Everyone's like, oh, Pussy Boots. Pussy Boots is a cartoon. And then there's this cameo in the movie that I'm not going to spoil. I feel like people know who it is, but just in case you don't know, it's a fantastic cameo and it was used perfectly in this movie. Now, like I said before, the third act didn't work super well because it kind of changed the movie from a straight up comedy with some action to a full on action film and i don't have a problem with movies that change their tones sometimes i do in this case i do sadly like i enjoyed the third act but there were some unanswered questions and also it just focused way too much on the action the slow-mo the gunshots and everything kind of focused a little too much on that but that being said keanu is still a fun movie that i think no one should miss i think everyone should go check this movie out this weekend i didn't see ratchet and clank i was supposed to see that but i've been hearing blah faint about it Mother's Day, I could care less about it. If you want to see Green Room, though, my review for that is coming soon. It might even be uploaded before this review, so if it isn't, then check out Green Room. So yeah, I'm going to give this film a B plus. Guys, tell me down below what you thought of this movie. If you saw it, tell me what you think of Key and Peele. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.